Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the White Tails Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. And we are going into our last non conference game versus Colorado, and we are one and one on the season. We did kind of have a tough loss last week versus Wisconsin. That was not fun at all, as they just did whatever they wanted on us pass, run, whatever you name they just pretty much did anything so we are going up against Colorado and you know what they are a decent team they are one and two on the season but they do have a couple of playmakers who we do have to watch out for Katie Nixon at receiver Daniel Arias is definitely a star receiver and then they have a good running game but not really ranked at the top right now but still a good running game Carson Wells is their best pass rusher as well as uh, I don't know how to say his name is it Kongum, Kongum. I don't know how to say that that name, but he is also a formidable force on their defense. So here we go. We are on the road, and this is our last non-conference game. So we do kind of want to go out with a win here, going into conference play two and one. So here we go to start this game out on offense. Here's Bruce Sar getting the handoff to the left side, and he's going to get pushed out of bounds that time by Ryan Robinson. Is there? to stop him first. So second and 10, here's Broussard running to the right side out of the pistol formation. He's gonna break free, he avoids Ryan Robinson and he's gonna take off and he's going the distance, 65 yards and Colorado is on the board first. Man, that was way too easy to start this game. So here is Jabari Blaze getting the handoff out on offense and then for the first play, he's gonna get nine yards. So second and one, here's a handoff up the middle. He's gonna get another big gain of seven as we wanna kinda make, you know, we wanna get Jabari Blaze some more run and especially getting him some more carries. We wanna be more balanced on offense as we give the ball to Angel Fabian across the middle for 10 yards. So first and 10, here's a throw out to the right side. Here is Javon Oliver. He's getting going in the passing game. He's getting about a gain of 12 on that one. And it's nice to see the veteran Right now, sophomore tight end getting going in this game. So here's Jabari Beck, get, Jacoby Beck getting the catch to the right side. He only can pick up a gain of one. And that brings up a gain of third and five. Here's a throw across the middle. And we cannot get anything. And we do run that same play back here on a fourth and five. Nobody's open. Miller goes down, loss of seven. So right away, Colorado, a nice drive on offense. And a nice drive on defense. They stop us on fourth down, and they force the turnover. So here we go. Four minutes left here in the first quarter. Here's a throw out to the right side. Sam Neuer on his first pass attempt. That one's going to be broken up that time by Ryan Robinson. So second and ten. Throw across the middle. Here is Daniel Arias getting going, and he's tackled by the middle linebacker, and we are going to give up a first down on that play. So second and eight. Here's a throw across the middle. Marvin Woods on the deflection that time. And that brings up a third and eight. Neuer going to throw out to the sideline. That time he's got Daniel Arias only for a gain of four. So we do force the punt. So we're still playing good defense, I'd say. We gave the long run in the first drive, but here we go. Back on offense. Here is a throw to the right side. That is Chris Coretta, the true freshman tight end for a gain of 16. Giving it right back to him, up the seam, and he is gonna get a nice gain of about 16 on that one. Back-to-back 16-yard -back plays for the freshman, and that's a first down. So now second and 10, here's a dump off across the middle. Jabari Blaze breaking a couple of tackles. He's got six yards. He's been impressive so far in this first quarter. So now a third and four, this time throwing across to the right side, and that is gonna be dropped by Angel Fabian. Probably would've been short of the first down marker and we're just out of field goal range, so why not go for it? Throws to the left side. That one's Howard Vinson, the punter turn receiver. He gets a gain of 14 and a first down. So now close to the 25-yard line. Here's a quick throw across the middle. Jacoby Beck holds on to that one after taking a big hit. That is a gain of 11. So now first and 10 at about the 13-yard line from the shotgun. Four wide receivers out there throwing to the right side. It's Marlon Yarbrough open again. Can anybody guard this guy? 14 yards. And what a pinpoint throw that time by Adam Miller. 
and it's tied up 7-7 here we go we got ourselves a game early on so here's a run to the right side Bruce Sar gets stopped in the backfield Tucker Aconquo and he's in for the tackle for loss that's a loss of four yards tonight here on third and seven here they get a couple yards on second down and overthrow the receiver on third and we force the punt so now we come back out onto the field with a chance to take the lead here in the start of the second quarter. But there's a throw across the middle. It's picked off by Landman. And wow, what an athletic play on that one. Adam Miller just did not get enough air under that one. It's right to the middle linebacker, right in the middle of the defense. And it's an interception. So here is Broussard on the next play. Hand off. He's gone 25 yards like it's nothing. And they take the seven-point lead just like that so here we are under center giving the ball off to Jabari Blaze the running game has been working to start this game and he gets about a gain of eight so second and two quick throw across the middle there is Angel Fabian again nine yards first down so under center this time running a screen pass out to the right side on a play action fake and it's not gonna work that's a sack as they get us to Get to a third and 12 on the next play. They're setting the pressure. Adam Miller goes down, loss of 10 yards. And this Colorado defense showed up on that drive. They forced the punt. So now five minutes left here in the second quarter. Here's the throw across the middle. That time, Maurice Bell reception. Gain of 22 and a first down. So here's Broussard on the handoff, running over to Fenner, breaking a tackle, breaking free. Marvin Woods stops the touchdown inside the five-yard line. Take a look. Man, Eddie McMahon had no chance on that one. So here on a first and goal, Bruce Broussard is in for the touchdown, four yards out. And now Colorado up two scores. So back out on the next drive. Here's a throw across the middle. Fabian getting going in this game so far. He's got a big gain of 21 on that catch. So here is Jacoby Beck. Lined up in the backfield. He's going to pick up a gain of six as he moved the ball past the 50-yard line. Howard Vincent in the backfield this time on a third and two. He's going to get some yardage. Punter turn receiver and now a running back. That's a gain of seven yards. So now, second and 10, past the 50-yard line. Here is Chris Coretta getting going in the passing game. That's a gain of 12. And I really like the dynamic he's been adding to our offense. So now we're inside the red zone here. Jabari Blaze off of that carry now, third and two. We're going to give it right back to him. Why not? He's got a hole up the middle. That is just a gain of three. But now we're milking this clock down, trying to, you know, give us some time here on offense. But on the next play, here's a strip fumble, and that is going to be a sack and recovery by Colorado. But take a look. Jabari Blaze actually does not move in position to make the block here to pass protect. And look what happens. Adam Miller trips and coughs it up, and Colorado falls right on it. So now... About a minute left here in the first half. Here's Broussard on the draw play. He gets a lot of room up the middle. He's getting to about the 50-yard line. That's a gain of 28. So, wow, we thought we were right back in this game if we would have scored on the last drive. But here's Colorado on the next play, throwing out to the flats. That's Maurice Bell for a gain of eight. So inside of one minute, here's a throw right back to Maurice Bell. That's a gain of 14. And now they are inside of field goal range. So now, second and seven. They have one timeout left. Here is Neuer from the shotgun. He's got all day to throw. He's throwing it deep to the end zone. It's going to be caught, but knocked out of bounds. And Elgin Lloyd, luckily, he does not have the height, but he does have the smarts to push him out. So now, third and seven. Here's the throw to the right side. That's Jalen Jackson as they do settle for the field goal here and add to this lead, but do leave a little bit of time left on this clock. So here's Adam Miller this time with 20 seconds left. Scrambling out to the right side, and he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Two timeouts left. Here's a throw across the middle. There's Marlon Yarbrough, 13 yards past the 50. So now first and 10, eight seconds left. Here's a throw across the middle. It's almost picked off. And wow, that would have been monumental mistake right there on that drive. But now we get one more chance. Here's a deep throw across the middle. That's caught by Chris Coretta. He goes up and gets it. 
but the time runs out and wow just like that that quick half goes the distance in that one 24 to 7 Colorado just taking care of business so here to start the second half here is Colorado they start out with the ball can we come up with a, a couple of stops here here's Neuer on the read option he's getting to the right side down the sideline he breaks a tackle and getting across the 50 and he gets tackled at about the 32 Sam Neuer his first carry of the game goes for 38 yards so first and 10 here's a quick throw out to the right side that's his tight end Poplowski and he's picking up a gain of 14 so now this time, read option. Pitch out to the right. There's Bell running in motion. He gets tackled at about the one yard line. That's a gain of 17. And wow, this defense just cannot stop the run yet. But here is Broussard getting in, and he's getting into the end zone. It's a 31 to 7 lead. And wow, this, this hope that we had. I mean, we were only down by about seven. We were tied at one point, it was 7 7. And I thought we were driving, and that turnover in the first half really messed things up. But here's Yarbrough getting going in the passing game, and he's getting open for a gain of 17 as he's got 90 yards receiving in this game. On a play action. This time, Adam Miller is going down, and that middle linebacker, Lamman is having a good game. He had a sack right there, and then he also had that interception earlier, and he's having a pretty big game. So now we get it to about the third and five here at the 35 yard line. Here is Rodney Ross with a catch on the outside. That is a gain of about 14 and a first down. So here's Adam Miller getting going on this drive, but that time that almost ends with a pick by Chris Miller, but he does drop it. So now third and 10, here's a lob out to left side. It's Marlon Yarbrough, he gets in for the touchdown, 24 yards out. That's a nice touch pass by the young quarterback, Adam Miller. And he gets in, and that is going to be a 14 to 31 lead as we are still in this game. Only three scores down, 17 points, as we need two touchdowns and a field goal. But here is Neuer on the keeper. He's getting to the right side, breaking a tackle, moving past the 50, and at about the 30 yard line, he gets tripped up as Colorado just seems to do what they want here when they get the ball. So here at the 22 yard line, this time a read option keeper. This time Neuer's broken, breaking out to the left side. He's gonna throw a stiff arm. He's breaking another tackle and he's inside the 10 yard line as well. Colorado is just torching us on the ground. So here's a quick throw out to the left side. That one is his running back out of the backfield. That is Jarek Broussard. And wow, nine yards out, another touchdown. It's 38, 14. So now here, to start about the end of the third quarter and it just seems like this defense is now starting to turn up just a little bit for Colorado as they send some pressure and they break through our offensive line that's actually Callier on the sack and why not fourth and 18 go for it here's a deep shot down the left side it is gonna be Howard Vinson who keeps his feet in bounds and that's actually a nice throw by Adam Miller we had nothing to lose on that one down by about four scores. So here's Adam Miller scrambling out to the right side, throwing across the middle. There's Chris Coretta getting open across the middle. That's a gain of 40 yards and a nice catch. Nice throw and a first down. So quick throw to the right side. That one's going to be Marlon Yarbrough. 11 yards. Are you really surprised? He's over 100 yards. So second and goal. Here's a uh, carry out to the left side. This time Jabari Blaze. Just had a big first half. Has just not been able to get going here in the second. So now third and goal this time. Adam Miller. Pays a pressure to the right side. He's going to throw it across the middle. It's going to be tipped at the last second. Chris Miller. Another big play by him. As he forces us to now go for it here on a fourth and goal. From the shotgun. Running out to the right side. This time pressure is getting right to us. We dump it off. But Jabari Blaze loses ground. And wow, we are out of bounds. As man, we fast forward into this fourth quarter. And man, this is just not the game we were hoping for. As Broussard throws a stiff farm, he's in for the 10 yard touchdown run. And wow, Colorado just pretty much opened this game wide, wide open. And 
here's the thing. We need to learn how to stop the run. I don't know what it's going to take here. And our defensive coordinators both years have just not been able to get going on the run defense part of things. And Marlon Yarbrough just continuing his great game. He gets a nice gain of 29. But our defense, well, we can stop the pass pretty well. You know, we've had the playmakers to stop that. But just stopping the run has just not been good to us as we have to address that. I don't know how it's going to go down, but we just need to address it somehow. So now we get it to a fourth and five inside of four minutes. Here's a quick throw to the right side. That is going to be Chris Coretta. He's open again. 19 yards. And he's over 150 yards. Can you believe it? Two 150-yard receivers here in this game in Marlon Yarbrough and Chris Coretta. But look at this. We're still getting pretty much killed in this one. 14 to 45. So here's a throw across the middle. That one is Jabari Blaze. He's getting open out of the backfield as we move this one inside the five here with under a minute left and Jabari Blaze does finish off this drive. At least we get 21, but it's just not enough to keep up in this game. We go on to lose 21 to 45, but man, I, I, I gotta admit, I still like the offense. We're still getting used to it. Remember we have a deep, different defensive or offensive and defensive coordinators and it's definitely something to get used to. The playbook on defense didn't really change, but the offense definitely did. But we need to play some good defense. I mean, especially going into conference play, you know, I kind of wanted to get the win. I mean, you always want to get the win, but I really wanted this one because we're going into conference play next week. But what a big sign for our offense. Chris Coretta goes for 166 and Yarbrough goes for 154. I mean, that is huge. Two 150 yard receivers in this game. But it just wasn't enough as our defense. I mean, look at this. No pressure. No sacks. No turnovers. I mean, we just need to improve somehow. I mean, maybe it's sending more blitzes. I don't know what it is. But Colorado took care of business here at home. And they move on to be 2-2 two and two as we move on to 1-2 and two going into conference play. Just look at the time, time of possession. I mean, you can just see. We had the ball the whole game, but it was because Colorado just scored so quickly. So now we go into conference play, going up against USF, Southern Florida, to start out conference play. And just looking at our side of a conference, Minnesota in their first season here in the American, they are in first place, but only through three games. And then Marquette on the other side is 2-1, 1-0, oh, and, oh, and look who they beat. They actually beat Northwestern gave them their first loss as they are three and one in their first year as they got demoted from the big 10 so next episode we are going to hop into your favorite episode the recruiting episode so you don't want to miss that one and then we'll hop straight back into conference play but next episode is fun i love this recruiting episode you don't want to miss any of that so hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it Let's go.